Welcome to the Reloading Weatherby channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what I think is one of the best dead cartridges ever made, the 284 Winchester. So we're going to go over the history, why it failed, and how in the last 20, maybe 30 years, the competition world has resurrected this cartridge. Let's get into it. The 284 Winchester came out in 1963. A lot of good cartridges have came out in the 60s. And Winchester's idea was they wanted to make an equivalent to the 270 Winchester in a short action. And the design of this case is way ahead of its time for the 60s. Let's take a look at it. So the rim is the same size as, you know, your 308 Winchester, your 30-06, or 65 Creedmoor. Uh, but uh, it's rebated. So what that means is that the case head is actually wider than the rim. And so it does give you a little bit more extra powder capacity. So this uh, case is a little bit wider than your standard cartridges like 270 Winchester and 30-06. And it does technically fit into a short action. Uh, the cartridge overall length is 2.8 inches, which is roughly about the same as a 308 Winchester. And uh, you get a little bit more powder capacity than a 308 Winchester. So why did the 284 Winchester fail as a factory cartridge? I think it comes down to two reasons. Number one, Winchester was trying to promote this cartridge as a lever action cartridge. It never took off because of that. And the other reason is 7mm Remington mag. You know, it came out a year earlier and it just took off and dominated the market. And so if anyone was going to get a 7mm, it wasn't going to be the 284 Winchester. Let's go ahead and look at the performance um, because as a factory cartridge in a short action, it was a little bit anemic. I mean, it came close to matching 270 Winchester. I mean, it definitely is right there with the 280 Remington, but uh, I think it's a still a little bit slower. So let me just show you. 150 grain bullet at 2,700 feet per second, according to Hornady's book. A 160, again, 2,700. And then the big bullet, 175. Around 26. Now other reloading manuals have it up to 2650, but still it's probably a little bit slower than the 280 Remington. And so overall it was kind of an anemic cartridge. Fast forward a lot of years and the competition world saw this 284 Winchester and saw a ton of potential as a long distance cartridge. They found that it has really good performance with mild recoil when you don't limit the cartridge as a short action cartridge and more close to a long action. And the 284 Winchester became the 7mm version of the 6.5 Creedmoor with a little bit more power. Speaking of the 6.5 Creedmoor, let's go ahead and look at some of its downrange performance as a long distance cartridge in a heavier rifle. So let's just use the 147 grain ELDM, so the ELD match with a BC of 0.697. Uh, hand loading it, I'm sure you could get 2700 feet per second, maybe even a little more, uh, especially if you have a longer barrel. Uh, but we'll just use the 2700 right now. And again, this is not for hunting, but I still put in the energy just for fun. So almost 2,400 foot-pounds of energy. Now to 400 yards, it's going 2,208 feet per second, almost 1,600 foot-pounds of energy, 29.36 inch, inches of drop. And let's just take this out to 1,000. It's going 1,580 feet per second, and the drop 307.5 inches. So what makes the 6.5 Creedmoor so great is that you have that ability to shoot really high BC bullets, like the LD match, and your recoil in a 15 pound gun is only eight foot pounds. So very good long distance cartridge. Let's now look at what the 284 Winchester can do as a long distance cartridge. This is with a 26 inch barrel. So you're gonna get a bit more velocity than what we saw in the books. 
So with a 180 grain bullet, and this is a burger bullet, um, you're getting 2,750 feet per second. And the energy, quite a bit more than a 6.5 Creedmoor. Again, it has a much bigger case, a bit wider and longer. And so you're getting 3,000 foot pounds. In a 15 pound gun, uh, the recoil is pretty mild, 12 foot pounds. And then out to 400 yards, it's going 2,251 feet per second, 2,008 foot pounds of energy, so still quite a bit more than a 6.5 Creedmoor, 28.21 inches of drop. So um, it's going to be a little bit flatter than a 6.5 Creedmoor. And let's see what it does out to 1,000. Very close in velocity with the 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, a little bit more energy, not that it matters. Um, shouldn't be hunting at that distance. And then it's about nine inches of less drop. Not a huge difference, but again, it's a little bit more powerful. Also, I know a lot of you are going to be wondering what the windage is with these bullets. They're basically identical. So, yeah, the 284 Winchester is a very good long distance cartridge. As of late 2022, you still cannot get the 284 Winchester in a factory rifle, and you certainly can't get factory ammo for it. So the only way to get this is to get in a custom gun and to reload for it. But I wouldn't be surprised if Winchester tries to bring this cartridge back in its modern form with it made for a long action and a long distance cartridge in a factory rifle.